In today's video, I will share with you the guaranteed way to make affirmations and subliminals really, really work for you. There is a way that you can make these things take root on the inside and accelerate you forward towards what it is that you seek to manifest and you can begin today. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ben. Welcome to Elevate. Let's dive on into it. Welcome to the channel, folks. I'm so blessed by your company. I'm glad that you're here and I hope that you'll love it. I hope this blesses you. If you enjoy your time here, join the family. You can do that by hitting the subscribe button. You can also check out a link to a short video about my coaching and counseling group. And folks, don't forget, if this video blesses you, give it a thumbs up. Reach out in the comments below and let me know where it's resonated with you. By doing that, you tell YouTube that it's been okay and maybe they'll put it in front of someone who needs to hear this too. Because today I want to talk to you about affirmations and subliminals and a way that guarantees your result from them, the result that you want to get from them. You see, when we talk about affirmations, when we talk about subliminals, and there's a key difference between these two things, folks. Don't mistake them for being one and the same. Affirmations are your declarations. We talk about using, people always talk about I am. I am so thankful and grateful that Money in abundance comes quickly and freely towards me. What a great affirmation for wealth. I'm so thankful and grateful that soon and very soon my partner's hand will be in mine. What a wonderful affirmation to use to manifest the love that you not only desire but deserve. I like to use third person. Ben is coming into his promised land. Ben is a multiple millionaire. Ben is healthy and whole. Ben is thin and of great health. Ladies and gentlemen, you know if you've been on this channel that once upon a time, I was almost morbidly obese. In fact, I spent my whole life, even from my school days, being fat Ben. I was bullied all throughout school because I was fat. I was fat all of my adult life. And a long time ago, it must have been five or more years ago now, I came into alignment with a new vision of myself. And within 10 months, through no action, and I mean no gym, no exercise, no diet, no trainer, no nothing but alignment, I lost half my body weight. Folks, I weigh 69 kilos, and I've been this weight without any effort For the last five years of my life, I used to weigh 125 kilos. I'm nearly half my weight. We can use affirmations to align us with the energy of where we want to be. Subliminals, they're very different. Subliminals are what we listen to as we go to sleep. Now, there's a powerful reason why subliminals work. You see, you might have heard me discuss this on the channel before, so I'll be brief. But our mind, twice a day, reverts to a a wave pattern that is known as theta neutrality. That's the same waveform pattern in our mind that a young child is in up until about the age of seven. Theta neutrality is basically where the subconscious acts like a tape recorder. It just records what it hears and believes it. That's what we talk about, that childlike faith. That's why young children, their subconscious mind is programmed by what they perceive and what they hear. And you have these people that grow up and then we live in a world full of adults that act like children. Because all their life they've heard, money doesn't grow on trees. If you want to be a success, you've got to work all the hours that God gives. Things aren't easy. Life is difficult. And yet, 
They're not your own beliefs. They're, that's not what you have decided to believe. That's what you have been told to believe. So we can move through that with the power of subliminals because as we go to sleep and then as we wake up from our sleep, our mind goes through theta neutrality. That's where the subconscious records. So after the age of seven, when we come out of that, the subconscious mind, instead of being a recorder, it becomes a player. So it just constantly plays to you what that recording is. And it uses that to put onto your radar all of the things that validate its belief. So if you believe life is difficult, your subconscious will perceive of all of the stimulation around about you that confirms that belief. If your subconscious has been programmed and believes that money doesn't grow on trees, that it's difficult to earn money, then your life will be a representation of that because your subconscious mind will journey you down the path and bring to your awareness everything that furthers that belief. So subliminals work by directly accessing the subconscious mind and allowing a new program to be put in there. But ladies and gentlemen, for so many of us, <coughs> pardon me, for so many of us, affirmations and subliminals don't seem to work. Have you ever tried to write yourself some affirmations and You've stuck them on your mirror and every day when you're brushing your teeth, you're looking at them and reading them out. Maybe you've even tried subliminals. You go off to sleep and you listen to affirming statements that you think is going to get you to where you want to be and you wake up in the morning and you feel exactly the same. Nothing's changed. Why is that? How come for so many people who try these things, they don't get a result? Ladies and gentlemen, I will tell you why. And I began to understand the power of this in my time at university studying the human condition. For those of you who've been with me on this journey, you know that I've been privileged to study counselling and psychology. It's something that I'm passionate about. And one of the things that I recognised during my journey of study was the power of decisive action. The power of our decisions, the decisions we make, and sometimes without even recognising we're making them, that impact and influence every part of our world. So it's the decision making surrounding our affirmations and our use of subliminals that governs the effect that they have on us, whether they have great and tremendous success, whether they have very little success or whether they have absolutely no success whatsoever. It's not in the affirmation. It's not in finding the right subliminal. You know, so often I see people reaching out and they're saying, you know, I want to try this 55 by 5 manifesting method. What affirmation should I use? I want to manifest a lottery win. What affirmation should I use? It's not about the affirmation so much as it is about the decision you make, not just that you're going to use it, but the decision you make from the outside that it's going to work for you. If you can go into this thing being firmly rooted in a decision that says, I will see a result from this. This is my time. This will work for me. Whether I feel it initially or not doesn't matter. I know that it's working. If you can enter your journey with affirmations, with subliminals, rooted in the decision that it will work for you, then it will work for you. What you decide and then invest your energy in will be a representation of the result that you get. So for so many people, they say, yeah, you know what? I've, I've been meaning to give these subliminal things a go. I, I might go on the internet and find one and I'll, get, I'll give it a shot for a week and I'll... I'll see what happens. Yeah, that'll be cool. Or for so many people, they say, oh, that sounds like a good affirmation. Yeah, that, that sounds good. That resonates with me. I'm, I might give that a shot. And they enter into this incredibly powerful process rooted in a decision that says, I might try it. I might give it a go and see what happens. Folks, let me tell you now, 
It ain't never gonna work if that's how you enter into it. Now, don't beat yourself up if you've tried it and you've walked into it with that mindset because I think for each and every one of us, that's probably been the case. I know before I recognized this about decision making and the power of our own decisions moving forward, I know for me, I tried various things and I thought, yeah, I'll give that a go, this sounds awesome. And a day or a week into it, this isn't working. And then you even more downtrodden from where you began. Folks, the way to get these things working is in making a decision before you start that it's for you, that it will work. You know, we live in a world that's full of triers instead of doers. The scripture even says, don't just be hearers of the word, but be doers of the word. What does that mean? That means don't just listen to these good things. Don't just listen to these instructions, but be doers. Make a decision that instead of trying it, you will do it. If there is an internal alignment within you that says, this is something I think I can get a hold of, that's there for a reason. Hold on tight to that. Decide that this is your time and that this will be a success for you, even if you don't feel it straight away. Folks, you won't get results the first time you try. You might be weeks, months into this thing and you might still be feeling that nothing's changed, but believe me, if you've made a decision that it will work for you, then it will absolutely work for you. You may have to journey through a little bit to see the result. But one day, someone will give you an opportunity to be upset, to be offended, and your natural instinct, instead of fighting them and lowering your vibration, will be just to come up higher and to bless them. And you'll think, wow, that's, that felt great. Where did that come from? One day, you'll have a feeling, today's the day. Today's my day. Your energy comes up higher and you think, where has this come from? It's your affirmations and your subliminals having taken root because you've made a decision that they will work for you. Folks, if you want to use affirmations, if you want to use subliminals and you want them to work, before you decide what affirmations you're going to declare, before you go looking for subliminals to play to yourself while you are going to sleep, Spend some time getting okay with the decision that it's going to work. You've got to convince yourself undeniably, unshakably that this will work for you. If it takes you a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, six months to convince yourself that this will work, take the time, invest in yourself to convince yourself first that it will work for you. And then go and be a doer, not a trier. Make the commitment up front. Don't just give it a go. These things work. The proof is all around us. There are so many lives that have been transformed and changed through the power of these things. And that can be your story too. Take the time first to set yourself up for success. Now folks, it's been a short message today, but it's been one that I hope has blessed you, that has given you a little bit of awareness surrounding your ability to absolutely set yourself up for success with your affirmations, with your subliminals. Go and give it a go. Get out there. Get amongst it. It works. But the work is done in being convinced inside of yourself that this is for me. So spend the time, invest in yourself and set yourself up for success. Now that's all I have time for today, folks. I hope it's blessed you, I hope it's encouraged you. If it has, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video around, but most importantly, come back and join me again tomorrow. I love you so much, peace.